Introducing the new Canon IV2. The Canon IV mini printer has always been the most capable and the cutest of the portable printers, but now Canon's gone and given it a major upgrade. It's got an entirely new look and brand new features, so let's check it out. All right, so let's open up this little box and see what we have. So we've got our blush pink ivy 2 has a nice smooth feel to it it also feels a bit heavier than the older model and we've got a couple little info cards a 10 pack of zinc paper and a charging cord one of the upgrades of this second generation IV is the charging port. It now uses the popular USB-C charger and it charges in half the time of the previous model. So 45 minutes will get you a full charge and you can create 20 prints before having to plug it back in again. All right, so let's turn this cutie on and get it set up. The IV2 comes with a bit of a charge so you don't have to uh, plug it in before you start getting it set up, which is always nice. And if you don't already have it, the first thing that you're going to need to do is download the mini print app. All right, so now we're going to connect our IV to the app. So you can click this little button here. Oh, I think it's showing already. Let's see, does it connect? Yes. So if it doesn't connect right away and you don't see it, you can always go into your settings and go Bluetooth and find your printer there. Okay, so now that we are set up, let's put some paper in. One of the best things about all of the Canon IV mini printers is that they don't require ink. They use a special paper called zinc, which has all of the pigment built right into each sheet. And if you haven't heard, all zinc photo papers are stickers. That's right, the back of every photo print is a sticker and as I always like to say, that makes them perfect for crafts. They come in rectangles and pre-cut circle stickers. Loading the zinc paper into the IV2 is super easy. Push to open the top of the printer, place the blue smart sheet face down, and then the zinc paper stays glossy side up. Then click to close the printer back up and you're good to go. Another new feature of the IV2 is that as soon as you add a brand new pack of paper, your smart sheet prints out automatically. This sheet is responsible for properly calibrating your printer for that individual pack of paper, so make sure you add it with each new pack. And just like that, we are ready to print. So I'm just going to click into the photo album here. I'm going to allow all access to my photos, and then I am going to pick a sweet photo of my littlest babe at her birthday party because she's so cute her first birthday party i should say and then we're just going to hit print that's all there is to it the canon mini print app allows you to print all the photos on your phone from your social media and you can even take a picture while you're in the app So now we're going to have a little fun and do a side-by-side -side print test using the OG Canon IV and the brand new IV2 so that we can experience the better print quality together. And for this test, I'm going to use the same exact pack of paper, including the same smart sheet to make sure that it's super fair. For the test, we're going to be using a photo of Hadley roaring like a dinosaur and we're going to send it through the OG IV model first and then the brand new IV2. So let's get started. Okay, so we've got the prints here side by side, and to me it looks like the IV2 print is brighter, uh, I guess more vibrant, and with almost like a better sharpness or contrast to it. So this one's still a great print, but this one is definitely an upgrade. So we have unboxed our IV2, we've connected it to our smartphone, and we created our first photo print. But wait! 
There's more! You are absolutely gonna love all of the photo editing features inside the Canon Mini Print app and I have to show you some of them. Okay, so these in-app editing features are just absolutely fantastic. Right here, there's always um, little announcements of new, fresh editing tools that you can use. And right here, this is my own. So I'm going to pick this cute little peace sign. Love that one. And then me and my daughter went to uh, Disneyland for the first time. And... I'm gonna use one of her photos, Exploring Disneyland. So you can see now my sticker is right there. And I can drag to open it up here. Now, y y there are stickers, balloon letters, frames, filters. I mean, it just keeps going on. So I'm gonna kind of run through a few here. So if you wanted to adjust the photo, um, technically at all you could with the contrast, saturation, color balance, brightness. Uh, we can add a frame and there are so many different frames and I'm pretty sure that at Christmas time I'm going to be adding some frames. So I think it was, I found a really cute one. Here we go. I love this floral wreath. Now you might be thinking, okay, but I want the sticker on, on the top. So you click this and then you click the layer and it brings it to the top. So now it's back on top again. Uh, if you wanted to add text, you can add it here. I'm going to write an H for Hadley. I'm going to make it purple because that's her favorite color. I'm going to put it right in the middle of that flower. Okay, and then again, there's stickers. There's so many different collections of stickers down here that you can choose from. We already added one. Then there's filters, filters for your photos. You can rotate your image and you can draw. So you've got uh, colors here to choose from and I'm gonna pick this hot pink size we'll show you right there and I'm just gonna draw a little heart you can really get lost in these editing tools and having so much fun personalizing your photos plus Canon is always adding new features to the app I've been a longtime Ivy fan as you can see here and here because there are so many awesome things that you can do with these sticker prints. From embellishing your planner or your journal to making the most adorable photo gift tags, maybe even putting special photos on a graduation cap, or my favorite, making wedding save the dates that actually have calendar stickers. So the question is, what are you gonna do with this brand new IV2?